Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been back here for a while and well, the main reason is because I had a newborn. Well, she's three months old now and life is getting back into routine slowly. So I have t more time to make videos now. to show you guys all of the bonnets I made so here are all my bonnets that I have on hand and all of them were the pattern was made up by me so I didn't follow anyone's pattern or anything I designed it myself and tried to make it better the whole point of this video is because the whole point of this video is I thought it would be a good idea to like make a little series of how I make each style of bonnet for you guys. And I'd like to see your opinion which bonnet you like more. Because I'm probably not going to be able to do every single one. So maybe like four or five of them. I'll take my time to go through each step of how to make it from the beginning to end. And I'd like to see which one you guys would like to see more of. So... So first off, there is two style of bonnets. There is the round ones, you see, rounded ones, and there are the pixie ones. So they're they look like a square, and when you put it on the baby, they have like a little pointy end to it. So I have been making more of the pixie bonnets. And before, when I just started, this was my original pattern of making them. So just plain like this, the straps are like that. They were okay, but they were not perfect. So I kept making more, trying to perfect it. So as you see, this is a plain one. This one is with bobbles, pom-poms. I kept trying and trying to perfect it because I didn't like how it was. You see, um, let me get this one. You see the uh, straps, the ties, They I originally sewed them in, not sewed them in, I crocheted them into the hat. And since the hat is a square, it was leaving like a gap at the end of the neck of the baby. And I didn't really like that. And over here at the top, it would also like leave a gap because it was just a square. So I kept working on that to make it better. And I came up with this. So I made a ridge. I added a ridge. See, this one doesn't have it. So I added a ridge and this, as you can see, it like makes it tighter around the head. And it is not as like loose at the actual front, which makes it look better. And it kind of blends in, but let me see if you can see. The ties, the strings where you tie around the under the chin, they are one separate string but woven into the hat. So when you tighten it, you see it like tightens all around the neck. As for the ones that were crocheted into it, you you tie it, but it's still loose over here. So that's one thing that I like that I improved on and I like this version more. So let me go through and show you guys which kinds I have. I have this bonnet. It's a pixie bonnet with these type of, they're not exactly pom-poms, popcorn, whatever you call these balls. It's more like a square and they're like even out to each other. As for this, they're more round and stick out more. So here's this version I still don't have a name for, but I will definitely be doing a video on this because this is one of my favorite bonnets that I've used for my baby when she was a newborn like almost every day every time we would go out 
It was like the perfect bonnet. I loved it. My other pixie bonnet that I have, look at this stretch, is this style. It has like the lace kind of print pattern. And it's more for like spring. So there's more air coming through. It's not as hot for the baby in the hat, which is also a bonnet. You see, it has the ridges at the top to make it more tighter around the face. And the strings are also woven in. So when you tighten it, it gets tight around the neck as well. Um, another bonnet that I have, this one I did not add ridges because of how the pattern is. It wouldn't really work for it to have like this since it wouldn't be really straight because the pattern of this is like fans so they go in and out. So this is even more lighter and breezy, lets more air flow through than this one because as you can see it's more laced up and it's really pretty and like looks like really delicate. I also like this one too. To put on the baby for like a stroll outside when it's like a nice breeze out not super hot um i also have this one it's like a basic stitch it is not um double crochet or anything i think it's the herring bone stitch i'm not sure i don't know but this stitch it like makes a really flat surface of the hat and I used it with like this thick yarn. You can also make it with a different kind of yarn. So yeah, this also has it woven in. And this is a toddler sized hat. I need to like redo the laces. I wanna make them thicker, the strings, but also tines around the neck. Let me compare. This one is similar to this. This is newborn and this is a three, two year old size in the back. So they basically have the same style as for this one, does not have any spaces between these squares, but for this one, I added like a row of um, double crochet to like spread out the squares. So you can just play around with it. So that is it for my pixie bonnets. Next up, I have my circle bonnets. I only have two because I just recently started experimenting with them and I just, I love them. I can't wait to make more patterns I have in mind to practice with, create, play around with. So this is the first one I made and this is just the plain um, double crochet and it creates a little bit of ridges because in some of them I just did back loop only so it gave a little more like texture and this is also cute you see here's the back it's round no pointing stuff and I also added ridges but for this one I did not um, make the straps woven in like in the pixie ones because for this one here is the back of the head and towards the neck it like narrows down as for this it did not do that so this is already like more narrow towards the neck so you don't need it to be woven in because it's tight around the neck it's not loose like the pixie one so you i didn't need to like wove it in so i just crocheted into it as you can see and the other style, my second favorite, so as I told you guys, my first favorite was this for a newborn. And now my second favorite that I now that I wear since she's a little bigger and she doesn't fit into the no, newborn anymore is this one. And it's the popcorn stitch. As you can see, here's the popcorn. The ends, the back where the head is, the back of the head is also always going to be the same pattern just to like build up the the size. You can't really do popcorn here, it's not gonna really work. So 
Once you have the size of the head, how big you want it, you go into the pattern. So you go into making the pattern style that you have. And this also has ridges and the strings that are um, so crocheted in. So yes, that's all of my bonnets that I have, that I have designed myself, just experimenting, making a bunch, redoing a bunch to make it the best, perfecting it the best I can. And I would like to know your opinion, which ones you like most, which ones I should do videos on. Like a lot of them, that I can make two versions. You see, this is the pixie version and this is the round version. They're both the same type of style, just different, di on different kinds of hats, round and pixie. So that's it for my video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked it. So I will see you guys in my next videos where I go in more in detail on how to make them. Bye.